The P1M fairy tale continues. Hello everybody. Like I said in the previous video I uploaded, I wanted to demonstrate to you guys that it's not wrong with my system, that it is in fact a fault with this controller. So what I've done today is that I have set up my old iMac, uh, which I had before this Mac Studio. I downloaded Cubase 11 and 12. The results are the same on this Mac, just saying that in beforehand. Uh, I've also done the same tests on my laptop, also an Intel laptop, but with another uh, operative system. This is OS Catalina and uh, on the laptop I think it's Big Sur, the same as my Mac Studio. Anyway, the issues are identical, so I won't bother to plug in and set up uh, my laptop. It's just going to be extra time that I have to spend. So, I also have Windows installed on this same iMac, which I will demonstrate how this controller behaves in there. But yeah, we'll start with this iMac uh, right here. So I have the controller plugged in here. And I have Cubase 12 open. And it's the same as I said with Cubase 11. I won't bother to show you Cubase 11. It's, this, the results are the same. So comparatively when I connect this new P1M into the Intel iMac right here, it doesn't disconnect. So that's a progress. It doesn't disconnect. It stays connected at all times. However, let me demonstrate what the first issue is here. So. meter bridge freeze. This varies. I was thinking originally at first, like, is it due to the tracks that have plugins on them? Yeah, these tracks have plugins on them, but that's not the case. I can play here. And here we can see that these tracks does not have plugins on them. And, and to uh, clear out the freeze, you simply have to, in this case, just go back and forth channel bank wise. So that is issue number one onto this Intel iMac. Same thing in Cubis 11, as I said, and the same results on my laptop over there. It lies over there right now. Uh, I did stumble upon another interesting thing. I haven't played around too much, so who knows what kind of mysterious faults may be inside of this thing, but what I did encounter was this. So it has to do with plugins and when you flip, use the flip function here. So use the faders when controlling plugins. And it's specifically to fader eight, seven, and six. So let me demonstrate here. Let's just use the kick track. So this doesn't matter what plugin uh, you choose, it's the same thing. But originally I used this one. Um, so, when using the encoders, there's, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna demonstrate that nothing weird happens. So, like, nothing weird happened there, right? Now, if I flip, and I, I wanna control, I wanna control the parameters with the faders here. The first fader, there's nothing mysterious happening, second fader follows along well. This follows along well. And up to number five, nothing strange happens. Now, when I choose to control the parameters with six, seven, or eight, yeah, it gets spooky. So, let me show you here. Okay, so this is weird again. <laughs> now six and seven, <laughs> like this is what I mean. It's so weird, like why is it irregular? So this is what is strange. I just claimed that fader six and seven would uh, uh, act spooky, but only eight did it for now. Literally minutes before I started recording, six and seven uh, did behave the same way the eight fader did. But yeah, let me show you then what eight does here. So we control the value here, and then it jumps. So this is horrible.
And the same thing happened on Fader 6 and 7 just minutes ago. But it doesn't seem to now. Um, maybe if I play around with, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like I feel like the more you play around with the control controller, like maneuvers and maneuver this uh, different stuff, the higher probability is that a new kind of random error happens. Uh, I'm just gonna play around and see if we can re-trigger these. So I'm I'm just gonna randomly play around here. Let's go to it. Let's do this. Nothing strange here, what I can see so far. I'm gonna flip now. This is supposed to work. Okay, let's see if <laughs> if if I'm correct here. Um, to my eyes, the the fifth fader did behave weird now. So let's see here. I don't think I even need to play. Or maybe I do. Yep, apparently I do. Hmm. Why is that jumping? I don't have any automation on. Now fader 5 in plugin mode it's it's uh, possessed Yep Let's see if Yep Do you do you see what I mean? They didn't do this. I mean you saw it. Uh, it didn't do this and then I just played around with the controller and then I came back to the plugin mode with the faders flipped uh, and now it seems like five six let's see if more behaves weird yep it's weird because when I don't play it seems to work why is that there isn't an automation going on that's all I could think of. There's no automation here. Show show used automation, nothing. And it's it's turned off there. So as soon as I play, they move. Does everyone does every fader move now? Oops. That moves. That moves. That moves. Uh yeah, that moves. That doesn't move. Wait, why don't input? Oh yeah, it works, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now it seems like, now it seems like one, two, and three works as they should, but not the rest. Amazing! Yeah, so that happens. The same thing happens on, again, the laptop. So it's not a computer thing, and it's not an OS thing, and it's not a Cubus version thing, since it happens on Cubus 11 also. Okay, so now I am onto Windows. Let's see if any of the issues we just, or I just, showcased uh, is prevalent here in Windows. Uh, let's play here. I first want to check if the meters freeze at all. Spoiler alert, I already know the answer. The meters doesn't freeze in Windows, so that issue is not prevalent here. Let us do the fader flip thing with the plugin. The same plugin.
I'm just gonna randomize these values. Okay, so now let's flip and see if this spookiness happens. This I actually don't know, but I'm assuming I'm assuming that it, uh, it will behave normally. No fader was behaving strange. Uh, everything seems to work. To make a fair comparison, I will now fiddle around. I will just randomly change pannings, uh, insert an EQ band here and there, go to the master uh, channel, I don't know, and then I will go back here and do the same thing and see if it has triggered the issue. So. Just add a noise gate, I guess, onto that channel. And let's play around with that a bit. Like, this doesn't matter. I'm just imaginary mixing here. Okay, now I have fiddled around a little bit. Let's go back here to the kick channel, the kick in, and uh, do the thing with the plugin. Let's flip. Uh, let's see if it happens now. Like, I already know that this won't happen. So yeah, when I sat down with this controller inside of Windows yesterday, I didn't manage to trigger a single thing. Uh, so I already knew that this wouldn't behave strange. I also tried in Cubase 11 and everything worked as it should. So with this information on my Mac Studio, it barely withholds a connection onto the Intel iMacs with different operative systems and like both Cubase 11 and Cubase 12, the issues are the same. The meters freeze, the weird thing with the plugin when you flip the faders. And on Windows, it seems to be free from faults so far. So all in all, it seems like the new P1M I received works on Windows. Definitely not on Mac and definitely not on my Mac Studio. I have a suspicion that Icon has an issue with the Apple Silicon Macs. All in all, this experience has made me very uncomfortable with Icon Pro Audio. Uh, I'm doing these kind of videos uh, for you guys to be aware of like that these things probably happen not only to me but to other people and I mean I know that due to comments and messages I received. So I am making this to make people aware of it and also kind of slap Icon on the wrist and to tell them like this is not okay. Uh, <laughs> Like, it would be a different thing, right? It would be a different thing if there was only, like, a small error, a minor thing, and I I had to wait, like, a month or two to get it resolved, and then it, that was it. But, like, everything combined, like, it just feels bad. It's not, a, it's not a pleasant experience, and I've not had anything like this happen before. Absolutely sure, when I bought uh, this controller, for example, uh, I maybe I can showcase this. Uh, to you guys. Great thing. I recommend everyone to have this. I remember there was a slight uh, issue onto this controller, but I the, the response was quick uh, and it and the solution worked. So that was like those things I can expect. But all this added together. Uh, I'm not passing with Icon at this moment. I'm not sure if I will make like a last loss video um, about this, but at this time I feel like I have got to say what I want to say to you guys who potentially are interest in, interested in Icon products, to you guys who are experiencing issues, 
uh, and also to Icon themselves. Yeah, sucks. Stay tuned, I'm gonna make more videos. I really feel like I wanna make more YouTube videos. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe and like, hit the bell notification. Would really uh, appreciate that. Take care, guys. Uh, may you have better fortune if you have a P1M controller or another product from Icon than me. Um, take care.